Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at some of the challenges you might face if you're working back and forth between, say, a cycles rendering environment and a game rendering environment. So that's a challenge that I have to face all the time. So in here, I have this nice cycles environment, and cycles does such a nice job. It's easy to get you know, caught up in this type of lighting, and then maybe when you move it over to uh, your game environment, it's like, it doesn't look anywhere near as good. So it's best I found to try and work simultaneously with both lighting models and then you can kind of try and match one to the other as you go. It was kind of like the old days working in video when you were looking at a high-res computer screen and your animation looked really great and then you had to send it out to NTSC video and it looked terrible. So, but, so what I have in here, typically what I'll do is I'll put my lights on different layers and I've mentioned this before but let's say I'll go into this building here and I'll just well I'll just go into wireframe and there's a light in there somewhere let me move in on that I think that's the light there no that's not it somewhere in there there's the light yeah there's the light for that building like that so what I'll do is I'll take it and I'll move it over to say its own layer all by itself say maybe I'll put it on layer 15 with some other lights that I have in the scene and then same with this building maybe I'll zoom into there and over oh, there's a light in there also and I'll move it to layer 15 as well like this. And now let's go look at cycles again. And you can see those two buildings are now turned off. And these are other lights, but I have, don't have the inside of the building built yet. So what I want to be able to do is use different materials and lights for OpenGL cells. So when I'm working in with in Blender Game or Blender Render. And it actually proves to be quite challenging because I can't just, if I'm just in here, and let's say I go into this building again, I'll put my cursor to the building and I'll just kind of move in and if I was to add a lamp say to the scene with shift A and I'll add just a regular point lamp at this point so there's a lamp right in here but it's not going to affect the materials the same way if you're in depending on the mode you're in here so if, if I go look at the lamp in here you see it adds an emission light and it has the strength cranked way up like this well that's not really what I want let me so I'm going to delete it but now I'm going to move it into Blender Render mode, and I'm going to add a lamp again. And I'm going to add that same point lamp, but this time, you notice it's not an emission lamp. It's just a traditional Blender Render point light with its old energy of 1.0, right? So maybe I'll put that in a layer like, instead of the other ones are in 15, so maybe I'll put that in 16. Like that, I'll put 16 back on. There it is. So, But even with that lamp in the scene, if I go look into textured mode which is how you would see GSL lighting you can see it's all blasted out well that's in part because I still have these other emission lights in the scene and it's also in part because my materials on all these buildings still now are all node based materials so there's and one of the reasons I set this up like this I'll show you if I go into edit mode on this oh, let me get turn those normals down a little I'm working at a really small scale because I was doing the fluid simulation at a small scale. Okay, so for this building, here's all my materials that I had set up in advance and say maybe for this fa this facade material like this. One of the great things about setting materials like this is you can select it. So those are the materials for that facade in here. And then, so what I like to do is, I like to just make a duplicate material. So since I'm working in Blender Render Mode, I'll click over in here, and I'll say New, and that's called All, that's called all Facade Outside is that material. So in fact, let's go open that up a little bit. You can see All Facade Outside. So maybe I'll call this one GLSL All Facade Outside. Oops. Like that. And I'll just give it some kind of color that, to distinguish it greatly, and I'll assign it. Okay, so let's go look at it in here. And you can see it's illuminating that with, well, it's hard to tell because I still have a lot of other lights in the scene. But, so this is now going to be illuminated with the GLSL shading mode, which is what I'm in Blender Render right there. So, basically, I like to have duplicates of everything, and that way when I'm, I'll try and, Maybe what I'll do, 
over the course of I don't know sometime in the next day or two I'll show you uh, I'll show you an equivalent version and I, how I try and match up the GLSL version with the cycles version so they're as close as they can possibly be and then the only thing I have to do is switch back and forth between now in that case there's my cycles light and I just took out my other light let's go back into cycles mode there's cycles mode but then you can see I have the regular yellow shader in here so then I'd have to switch into here and just grab this facade and reassign it like that and then I'm back to I'm back to my regular surface mode so it's really about you know the materials are different and your lights are different especially when you place your lights when you're in it depends what mode if you're in cycles render and you're adding objects and, and materials and lights it's going to make them cycles based and if you're adding blender render it's going to make them blender render based so it's that this process requires a fair amount of planning in advance to try and do it right so when I start getting to a scene at this level it's like uh oh got to put on the brakes and go back and start really maxing it up because I'm always dreaming that I can turn this into a 30 frame per second 60 frame per second you know game engine look but that's not going to happen unless you do all kinds of nice textures and things like that so all right we just wanted to point it out and I'll see you in the next video